Okay, so one other thing that jumped out at me while looking at these financials, especially the balance sheet of the company, is the amount of debt that the company was using. All right, so that just strike me as being odd. All right, so as I said, the company is in its embryonic phase, its baby stage, right? And just like a baby, certain food you cannot give the baby to eat until the baby is able to walk or whatever. Certain food are just not for babies, all right? And it's the same with companies, certain financial um strategy financial products are just not for startup companies are just not for companies that are not mature not for baby companies and i'm seeing where the company edifocal is using a lot of debt on its balance sheet and it's not healthy for the company all right and i'm wondering this company is associated with mayberry and I know Mayberry to be very savvy business people, all right? So, and Mayberry has invested in this company through a company, through one of those companies, widespread, what, right? One of those companies that invested equity into the company, all right? So I know Mayberry to be very savvy business people. And as I said, they invested equity into the business because this business and the stage that this business is at this business does not need debt now if it is that Mayberry is coaching this firm and this firm is using debt it is telling me something about the firm and I will get into the the message that I'm picking up from the fact that the company has a lot of debt on its balance sheet in at this early stage of the game. So let us look at the debt. All right. So current asset. Let me paint that in yellow. Current portion of long term debt is three, $3 million. And below that you have short term debt. That is $77 million. This is a bit heavy for the company. And if you go down to long term debt now. All right, long-term loan, that's another $4 million. So that is some $85 million of debt that the company is holding. Majority of that is in the short term. All right, it's expected to be pay off in this business year. Let us look at total asset. Total asset is only $213 million. And $80 million of that, $85 million thereabout is debt. That's not LT. All right, so let us go to the balance and um, the income statement. That's the balance sheet. Let's go to the income statement and see how debt affected the income statement. So you see, finance costs. Let me try and pull that up. Let me pull that up. Let me pull that up. Oh, God. All right, let me pull that up so we can see what's happening. I'm paint back that in black. Sorry for the weird. Okay, so here we go. All right, so let us look at finance costs. Computer is giving me a problem. All right, so net finance costs. Let me just erase the revenue yellow line and the net profit yellow line and we are only focusing on finance costs now all right so that's finance costs so look at it finance costs for 2019 was one million dollar finance costs for 2020 was 8.4 million dollar and for 2021 it was 60 million dollars all right profit look at profit from from net profit from 2019 onwards you make a loss of seven million dollars in 2019 all right and 2020 you made a profit of 10 million dollars now if you had not paid finance costs of eight million dollar that profit would have been 18 million dollars similarly in 2021 a profit of 30 million dollar was made 
finance cost was paid out in interest rate of $16 million. Had you not had debt on your balance sheet and, and the level of debt that the company is carrying, the company would have made 20, $29 million in profit. Imagine what that would have looked like for the investing public. But one thing came out at me. I mean, they are being advised by the Mayberry family, which are shoe business people who knows the market and how businesses are supposed to operate. No, the fact I said Mayberry invested in this company in terms of equity because at this stage of the game, the company only needs equity to grow. And this is the reason, one of the reasons why the company is not growing as fast as the company can or should, simply because the company has a stronger all of debt on its balance sheet, too much debt on your balance sheet, right? So it is stronger hole in the company. And, and, and management must be credited for the fact that they are raising this equity fund to pay off, to clean up the debt from off the balance sheet. That is what is needed. All right. So that's a plus. But what I'm saying, though, is why has not this company been able to raise enough equity capital? Right. And we will look through the different stages of capital that the company raised because the company and I must give them credit. The, 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 the prospectus had a lot of information in it. So give them credit for disclosure, proper disclosure. All right. But it seemed to me that the company was unable to raise equity and hence it had to, um, to settle for debt. Because as I'm saying, whoever is um, advising the company knows that debt at this stage of the game is not the best route for the company. So they would have tried to raise equity and maybe fail to raise the equity and have to resort to debt. All right, debt financing. And here you see where debt is having a stranglehold on the company's um, net income. All right. So what this is saying to me, investors, maybe we're not able or is seeing this company as high risk and are not willing to accept equity at that time right so the company would have to struggle with debt financing people were more willing to lend the company money instead of taking a stake in the company because the the risk of the company was too high at the time and maybe they were not people were not able to value the company because in the Jamaican market, and this is one of the problems we have, our capital market is not as sophisticated as it should be. So most people value a company with PE. And here you're having a company that has negative profit. That means the PE would be negative. All right. So a lot of people get lost when you have a, a company that has a negative profit. How do you value the company? What is the worth of the company? All right. So maybe that's one of the reasons why the company was not able to raise adequate equity capital and had to resort to debt capital. Right. And that is choking our economy. Right. And the fact that enough information is not out there either. All right. So people can get sufficient information to make informed decisions. These are some of the issues that the capital market needs to deal with. All right. So a lot of government agencies are not collecting data properly so that analysts can gather those data and include them in the analysis. So the, there is a huge gap between or a huge um, information gap in the market that needs to be filled. And then that's the reason why you see company like this with so much potential are unable to gather or to raise adequate and sufficient equity so as to solve some of the issue that the economy is having all right so we need to look at that and we need to solve that as a nation